What's good? How's everyone doing today? What's good, everybody? Um, I gotta remember, I gotta move the face cam up a little bit for this one, so you can see the abilities. Uh, I think that's good enough, I don't know. Um, so I'm playing this game because I know, obviously, not a lot of you guys watch this, but I do like playing this for fun. Um, it's actually a really good game. Um, let me just take a look at this real quick. Okay, everything's good, I believe. Yup, yup. Yes, everything is good. Start the game. Um, so today, instead of doing some of these maps, we're actually going to take on the Odyssey. Um, this is a very bad idea because it's once again a bullshit Odyssey, but um, I'll get, go over with the uh, specifics after. Um, okay, let's just get, grab my uh, daily chest. I believe there's an achievement to do 35 or 365 uh, daily chests in a row or something. There's an achievement for that. Or just to open 365 chests. I think that's what it said. Yes. Just open the daily chest 365 times. That's an achievement. <laughs> Um, and it gives monkey knowledge away, but I mean, like, I feel like by the time I reach 365 days, I'm going to be finished with my monkey knowledge. I'm almost at level 150, so that's when the maximum amount of monkey knowledge is, because as you can see, I only have six more that I still need to get. Nine out of 15 powers, and then the rest of the stuff I got. Um, yeah, I just leveled up recently, actually. So, um, let's go into, um, oh, uh, also, I put a nice little jukebox so we don't hear the same freaking music all the time. So, <laughs> I have that going for me at least. So, in the matches, we're gonna be hearing some pretty good music for once. So, freaking Odyssey, once again. What we do is we go through all five of these stages. Um, seems very easy. It says hard standard, 650 gold, blah blah blah, but there is a catch to it. What it says up here, it's on extreme mode, so your monkey crew is now expendable. So basically if you use too much of your crew for one of the first stages, then you won't have them for the rest of the stages. So you gotta be, you gotta really think about what crew you have to choose. Yeah, once placed, each monkey tower is used up and can't be used again. That's what I don't like about it. There's, there are other odysseys where this isn't a thing. Where you can just... You know... You can just literally build as many monkeys as you want. Depending on what you choose. Without using them up. But um, that was like one or two months ago. <laughs> as of recent, we've been getting all bullshit odysseys. And yeah, obviously, if I beat hard mode, I get these rewards. 200 monkey money and 50 trophies. We're mainly just aiming for the trophies. I wanted to see if um, what my friend said was true, which was if you beat hard mode, you get the rest of these prizes too. But I'm not sure if that's true. So just keep in mind, it's 50 trophies and 200 monkey money. So we're going to be taking an, a closer look and see if we get... Uh, 90 trophies at the end of the round, but I, don't, but I doubt it. So as you can see, only medium mode and hard mode are extreme mode. That's what the fire around the hard... Ar around the portrait is. And uh, easy mode is just easy mode. You, you don't have to... you just go through three stages. It's very easy. And you don't have to worry about using up your... Um, your crew. So, get things started. The only thing I don't like about this is it's going to be kind of boring. And in other words, I have to use the same optimal crew the whole time. Um, like, I can't just switch things up. I just have to use the same crew. Because I only have 16... 16... Um, a maximum of 16 uh, monkeys that I could choose. And remember, we're going through five stages. So... I'm probably going to need like five of one monkey and five of another monkey. 
and definitely the village is going to be one of them, I think. <coughs> so... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's also take advantage of the powers. Those are also... Um, I mean... Like, these are... Always there for me. You know what I mean? Like... I could still use them. Like, it's not cheating. It's, it, it says I can use powers. So, it's fine. Um, I think I don't need... I want to say I don't need camo detection or the glue. So... Uh, you know what? I'll put maybe just one... Camo detection? I don't think I'll need glue, though. Okay, I'll put two camo detection. Maybe one more, um... I don't know if Thrive's gonna be worth it. Um, maybe, maybe, uh... One more of these. Uh, obviously the cash drops are very good. We'll probably use one per match, but that would be too easy, I think. Um... Yeah, this is enough. We have enough spikes for sure. I don't think we're going to be needing the rubber ducky pool. I, 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 we really don't need them that much, honestly. Um, the powers, we don't really need them that much. So let's just get like maybe just five of these, because why not? And then maybe one more cash drop. There we go, that's good enough. Now for the monkeys, let's just get rid of all of these. Because we're not going to be using like all of those. There are 16 seats, but remember, you can only use 16 monkeys. So... Oh, and these are the only two heroes you can use. And I love Churchill, so I want to go with Churchill. Um, I want to say the best way to beat this, maybe... Go with the plane and... The monkey village every round. It, it, again, this takes a lot of planning because... This is an odd game mode. Also, for this map, I want to see th the spillway. You see how there's toxic in the middle? I want to see if you can just build a raft there. I don't think you can, but I want to see if you can. And maybe I can build my hero middle like that. It would be pretty cool. I don't think you can build a raft there, though. These first three stages are pretty easy. Um, I believe this one is an advanced map. Either advanced or either intermediate, but it's not too difficult. Um, this one's definitely intermediate, but it's still pretty easy. This one's a beginner map, and then it's just these two at the end that are kind of annoying. But this one, at least we're playing on medium, so I'm assuming my monkeys are going to cost less. So if I go five planes and five villages... Oh, and the hero is always usable. Like, you won't lose your hero. You can use a hero for every round. Um, so that makes ten monkeys already, right? If I use five planes and five villages. Then I have five more to set down, I believe, right? No, s six more. Six more. Uh... Maybe, honestly, I feel like... I feel like you should just go for, like... I, I don't know, maybe like a helicopter? Let's start with... let's start with... Five villages. Oh! Oh! You can't make... More than... Oh. Well, that's bad. Oh, this is really bad. Uh, yeah. Never mind. I can't make five villages. They only want me to make one. Oh, that is very freaking terrible. Oh my god. I know it's only up to round 80, but still. This is terrible. Uh, so actually it needs a lot more planning then, huh? This is rough. I don't know what to do now. I feel like the plane needs to be saved for... 
The plane or the helicopter needs to be saved for this map here, the spillway. These ones are still pretty easy, so maybe we can get away with it. I feel like you definitely need the plane here. I'm gonna be disappointed when um, I'm gonna find out that you can't build a raft in the middle. I know that I'm kind of taking too long, but like, I really need to figure this out. I don't know what I want to do. They made it a lot more difficult now. Because I think for the last Odyssey, it was extreme mode, but you can use as many monkeys as you want. A, a many, as many of the same type. That was the last one. So yeah, we're definitely going to be using our cast drops a lot, that's for sure. Tough. I don't know. It's tough. I mean, I guess you're forced to use... How many monkeys are there, first of all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then you have the village and that. So, there's still a good chunk of monkeys, huh? Twenty-two monkeys. Um, so I think what we're gonna have to leave out is definitely an attack shooter, because I don't think it's good on any of these maps. Besides maybe the beginner map right there, in the beginning. Yeah, and that's it. So if I want to use attack shooter, I should use it on this level. Uh, the hero is gonna be key to get right away, because he's going to, um... You know what, I should probably just use the cash drops and use my hero. Level it early. That's something I should do, and that's how we're gonna be beating this. So... Okay, so... This, and the plane, for spillway. Submarine, probably going to be useless. But maybe we might be able to use it? Hmm. Dart Monkey is not too bad if you upgrade it all the way. It's really not that bad. Um, I'm worried about level sem levels like level 78 and... 76. Those are going to be a pain. Um, I want to know, do we even need any slowdown monkeys? I don't think so. Not for this. So we shouldn't go for any slowdown monkeys, honestly. I don't think it helps. Hmm. Alright, so what are we doing? So, step by step, what are we doing for the first one? We're building our hero. There's five courses. Only 16 monkeys you could use. So, on average, we should be using three monkeys per map. Because three times five is 15. Obviously, I'm gonna have a timestamp, by the way, as to when the game starts. Um, takes a lot of planning to do this. Um, I, I probably should have done this before recording. But um, I feel like definitely getting a dart monkey would be useful. I just have to know when to use it. So what three monkeys do I want to use for the first one? <clears throat> this one's pretty easy, so... So yeah, the hero doesn't count. The hero's always gonna be there. And then just three other monkeys. Um, this one, maybe we'll want to make like a buccaneer. Maybe use buccaneer for this one. This one... Maybe doesn't count too much because it's a pretty easy map. Uh, we might... Uh, actually, we might want to use our uh, gunner for this one. I think we just win with that. 
I think we just win with... Oh, but... Hmm. Yeah, we might just win with the gunner here. It's a good map for the gunner. Okay, so for the first map, I want to go with... Gun. We want to get a buccaneer, definitely, for this one. This last map, I have no idea. We're probably just going to use a helicopter for that one. And maybe, maybe, um... For that one, maybe I'd say... Helicopter, um... Where is it? Helicopter and... Where is it? Where is it? What was I looking for? Oh yeah, Super Monkey. I want to say Super Monkey for that one. Uh, obviously we're going to bring a ninja, because it's always good. Just got to know when to use it. I don't think we're going to be using the Dartling Gunner, unfortunately. And I don't know about the... About that guy. The, um... Huh. Hold on a second. What if I use... I could maybe use this guy. I forgot his name. The, um... Anyways, he has explosives in one spot. I feel like maybe it could be useful for this map, the spillway. Because all the balloons are going to be in the middle. Could be useful, I think. Um, I think, I think this is the map where we're going to be using, <clears throat> um, the plane and the village. This is the dangerous map. And then these ones I can just win easily. So let's just pick, um, I say Dartling Gunner, probably not worth it here. Definitely get a wizard. Maybe an alchemist too. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe the spikes as well, wouldn't be bad. Dart monkey as well. I don't know about the cannon. <clears throat> um, maybe we can do... The wizard monkey on this last map. I'd say it's not a bad idea. Yes. I like it. Wizard monkey, maybe helicopter as well. Okay, I think I, I think I think we should be able to beat this on the first try. I'm I'm seeing a lot of unless there's other surprises. I I'm seeing I, I feel very optimistic about this. It's actually not that hard. It's just a lot of planning. Yeah, I want to. I, I definitely wanted to bring a dart monkey in there. I think we're fine. Um, Spike factory for sure. Maybe even go for this engineer monkey. I don't want to bring the Dartling Gunner. I don't think Sub's going to be that useful either. Even though there are there is a lot of water in a lot of these maps. Um, I'd say maybe we can just bring a Sub just for the hell of it. Let's bring a Bomb Sub. Yeah, maybe Alchemist. Just gotta figure out when to use that. Druid. Then I gotta choose two more. Um, I don't think we're gonna be using the banana farm. Or I don't. I don't think it's gonna be that useful. I don't know. Okay, I think we should just get the show on the road. I don't think the last two matter. Um, uh, 
I want to go with um, probably you and one of these four. I don't want the, one of the slow ones. Maybe... Maybe Boomerang? Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, let's just start it off. Start Odyssey. We gotta pay attention to see if... Um, okay, so... I start the game 20 minutes in. <laughs> okay. Uh... So it says free, but it's not really free. Um, you only have a one-time use for all of these, except for the hero, obviously. Or, I'm assuming, except for the hero, right? Um, I guess we'll find that out. <laughs> um, I think we could just beat this with possibly two monkeys, just this stage. Just this and the gun. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Let's try... Also, I hope you guys like the music. Let's try cash drop. And we'll try using the gun here. Line it up with the lane. I really hope the hero is also not a one-time use. I, I don't believe... That would be really stupid if it is a one-time use. I wouldn't like that. And let's use a cast drop. That's instant money. We'll get the hero. Laser bombs prime. Let's just speed it up. Since it's given to us, we can use all of this. All of this. Even insta monkeys, actually. Which is probably what we're gonna have to be doing in case they won't- they don't allow us to use a hero anymore. But I think a hero doesn't count. Just like the monkeys. I believe you should- you, you, you're allowed to use a hero anytime. On, on all the maps. At least I want to believe that. That it should always be available. Um... Yeah, obviously building the sniper in this position, very good. Because... It's basically lined up with the lane, and the sh sh Shrapnel shot, I definitely probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, damages balloons... Sprayed out a cone, so basically it hits the balloons right. behind it. That's why you build it in a straight line. I mean, I'm ready. even, okay, so even if, let's say, let's say we're not allowed to build the hero um, for the next rounds, I think it's still possible to do. I, I don't think it's necessary to need the I'm hero ready. for the last stages. And that's why I'm saying this is kind of a boring odyssey, because you can't really get anything else. You have to save your monkeys. You just kind of have to upgrade these and save for these upgrades. And I usually go for the faster firing. That's why I say it's boring. I'm not saying, like, I'm bored. Like, all, all of these are boring. It's just that when they make the odysseys like this, it's just not fun. A lot of the times. So maybe next time I'll, if I do record an Odyssey, I'll try to do an Odyssey where I can just try out different builds and, see that's what I like, I like trying out different builds, not doing the same thing all the time. Or not just build two monkeys basically and then that's it. I know we're just going to level 80, but I think it should be fine, I think, I think level 80 is just going to be really easy. Um. A lot of them just go up to level 80, is what I'm saying. Powered up. So... 
Yeah, so I wanted to make, what, the Buccaneer on the third map. Or, wait, that's the second map in this. The next map, I should use the Buccaneer. And save the monkeys for the later rounds. Because I know these first ones are kind of easy. So basically, we, we're just like sitting here and we're just upgrading. Because we don't have a choice. <laughs> That's basically what we're doing. That's why this obviously is not the best. Also, you could get rid of these in the middle, but we don't have to. If you want to build here is what, all I'm trying to say. But yeah, we don't have to. I like the music, though. I have, like, a whole playlist. It's not really the biggest playlist, but, like... I'm getting there, like... Right now we're hearing Main Fiesta. Um... Is there any way I can go to the jukebox? I, I don't know, I don't want to mess anything up. It was good music. On my last recording, it was just boring. Like, th there was a... Uh, it's just like the same song all the time. It's, it's just like, if you hear that in your freaking head the whole time... Oh boy. Let me tell you. It's gonna get stuck in your head, and you're also gonna go crazy and get a migraine. <laughs> or at least that's how I work. I get migraines when I hear... the same song the whole time. Unless I like it a lot, but like, I don't like the, the main music all the time. So now we got another tune playing. So unfortunately, I don't have too many songs, so I have like around six or seven songs on that playlist. So you're only going to hear those songs. And my annoying voice. <laughs> uh... So yeah, we're just saving for this. I don't know if we need any other towers to beat this stage. I feel like the... Sniper Monkey is just so damn strong. I don't know if we need anything else. But yeah, I hope we can build the hero. It's it's kind of scaring me the fact that it says it says I already built it. Like I can't build it again. That's already scaring me. But the last Odyssey where I played on extreme mode, I was able to make the hero every round. Let's go. But who knows? Maybe they changed it for this one. And that would really suck. So yeah, basically the balloons can't even make it out because of the sniper, he's just too strong. This is why I wanted the sniper on this on this map, because it's really good. What next? This hero is really good because he can kill lead balloons and also um, can see camouflage balloons. And on level 10, he counters the big balloons, the Moabs. <laughs> so... I want to see if we can just beat it with two monkeys on this first stage. I would like to see that. That would be really optimal, if we can do that. Because I know the Elite Defender is just so strong. At least until late, but we're not going to be going to... Um, we're not going past level 80. So I want to believe this is going to be enough, but who knows. Remember, we always have our hero's ability. It's just that we don't need it. 
Yeah, I mean, we could always build extra, but I feel like we don't have to. Okay, that's getting annoying, the Zentai style. <laughs> I guess if I would have to, if I was struggling, if, if, if we would lose at any time, I guess we'd have to use the boomerang. Because he's, he's pretty expendable, I'd say. We have to watch out for level 78, that one's the hard one. And level 63 as well, but I think, I think we can beat 63. With just everything that we have here. Up. So now I can use this, but I don't think we need it. I can use this ability to pop Moabs if I want. It's... Yeah, we don't even need it. It is getting a little bit more dangerous though. So, I think on level 63 we have to use our ability. Um, I want to believe so. I, I don't want to use it right away. Let's see how much harder this round is. So, on the third wave I think we want to use it, because I think there's a bigger wave. Right now. I thought there was a slightly bigger wave there. Okay, let's just use this for fun. I don't think we needed it. I didn't use it at a good time anyways. Um, next level to look out for, I'm not really sure. 74, 76, and 78 I know are somewhat annoying. 75 spawns a lot of Moabs. Again, I just want to see if I could beat this with just two monkeys. I know I have money and I could spend it on something, but... If I were to spend it on anything, what would it be? And yeah, like I said, maybe the boomerang, just because it's expendable. If we do need it. But again, I feel like it's not necessary. Sentai style. So this is the blimp. The blimp obviously doesn't go in the tunnel. He flies over the track. Sentai style. Type seven threat detected. Remember, they gotta go through the whole loop, then around, and then back down this way to actually leak. And I'm not going to allow that. I'm going to be using abilities just in case. Even though I don't think we need it right away. Also, the dart monkey does seem pretty basic. But the thing is, it's not that basic. This sharpshooter is actually really strong if you go for this. It's definitely not something to... Um, it's definitely underrated, I'd say. <laughs> like, this max upgrade, Crossbow Master, I don't know if we'll reach that, but that's really strong. Would be cool if we can. There's a few regrow balloons there. Um, again, if, I, if we're in trouble, I think we should go for the boomerang. I want to see if we can just beat it. Let's see. I also wish I had the monkey knowledge where it lets you place uh, road spikes. You start off the match with a road spike, basically. That's what it is. It only helps for the beginning, actually, but yeah, it's still still nice to have. <sighs> Never mind, 74 was not difficult. 
It's easy. I'm sure we can beat those ceramics without using an ability. Yep. No problem. Again, this guy is insane. How strong he is. We have to use our ability for the next level. Slow it down, just in case. Right now, as soon as he attacks. Ooh, do we beat this? I don't think we beat. I don't think we beat this. Oh, it's really close. The regrows are very dangerous. Those those balloons regrow. And they are so dangerous. I think we'll slow it down on level 78 again. This level should be easy. Oof. Um, that's fine. Okay, we're good, we're good. Slow it down. Um, I don't remember exactly when they come out. I think it's right away. There's a rush of ceramic balloons. There they are. And then there's one more wave at the end of the round. Okay. Um, so now there's going to be a blimp. A red blimp and then... There's going to be a last uh, ceramic rush. But I don't think it spawns yet. Just wait a little bit. Turbo damage Did that a little late. Um, I think it's fine though. Yeah, he still has his ability up. It's fine. Let's just save this for level uh, 80. Let's have it ready. I hope we don't lose here, actually. Um, okay, I think we're good. Hopefully. This is a hard round, actually. I don't want to break the balloons yet. There's too many uh, rainbows. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. They still have the whole track to go through. I think we're fine. Yeah, there's no, no problem. I don't have to use any abilities. They're fortified, so that's why they're a little bit stronger. Light speed ultra mega strike! Boss attack stance. Sentai style. Turbo damage laser bombs. Oh, only two monkeys. <laughs> Look at all the gold I had. Only two monkeys. I beat that stage. Now that's optimal. Look at that. 16 out of... S Wait. 16 out of 17. So yeah, I only used one up. So I think I could use the hero again. I believe. So now we're going to this... Other map. Yeah, yeah. You could use the hero whenever you want. That's amazing. So I have very high hopes for... Uh, winning this now. So, I want to start with the Buccaneer on this one. I never got this. Oh no, I do have a sub. Um, do I want to use it here though? I'm not sure. You have to be careful for this one though, because... Hmm. This one we might need a few more monkeys for. Um, yeah, this this one this one could be hard. My question is, should I use the helicopter for this one? And but then, yeah, and then maybe um, do necromancer for the last one, and that's all we need to win for for that last one, the necromancer. We might need the helicopter for this one. This one's uh, probably one of the harder maps. 
It looks easy, but it's not. It, there's not really much placement you can make. Uh, let's use the cash drop again, as usual. Build them there, I guess. Oh, we leaked. Oh, we leaked one. I didn't even see that. It's whatever. I was thinking of maybe. Um, I think we'll be fine. Um, I, uh, yeah, this one we have to watch out for. This one. Let's use the helicopter. Let's play it safe. Buccaneer is really nice. I like going for this. Um, these bottom two three builds. So, we're gonna be going for this upgrade here, Monkey Pirates, to eat that blimp on level 40. And then we're just gonna save for, um, where are you? Helicopter, Apache Dart Ship, and then Apache Prime, and that's all we're gonna be doing. And then we'll get the, um, Invisible upgrade. Um, so he can see invisible units. Or er, invisible balloons. Playing too much Warcraft, man. I'm saying units. I want to be conservative. We could also... All right. <clears throat> could also use a spike factory. Maybe we'll do that for um, the next round. For the, the third one. <clears throat> and then I want to believe Spillway, you just win with Village and the Plane. I want to believe you just win like that. And then we'll make a, uh, a Mortar Monkey. Um, to keep using the Mortar in the middle. Oh. I should probably be paying attention to the game and upgrading my towers. Because leaking does happen. Honestly, I could just probably just save for the helicopter already. We're probably gonna go for... All right. Maybe the monkey buccaneer? Or, no, not the monkey buccaneer. The ninja on level... The next level, the level 3. I don't think we'll need the ninja for this one. Let's just make the helicopter. It doesn't matter where you place it. I want to get a pursuit so I don't have to micro it. It just follows... Um, it just kills the balloons, basically. Don't have to worry about lead balloons because we have the buccaneer with hot shot. Oh, and plus we have the hero, obviously. So now you can see camo. All three of these can see camo. So we should not have a problem with that. So I guess we could just save for Monkey Pirates and then save for the uh, Apache Dark Ship. And we're good for level 40. It doesn't matter. We're good. We win it. Yeah, we'll use the Prince of Darkness for the last stage. And yeah, we can use... We'll probably use Superman... Not Superman, Batman... On the last stage, too. Wouldn't be a bad idea, I think. Maybe... Maybe we can save the submarine, also? And we'll go for, um... The middle path. We'll go for um, preemptive strike if we have enough money for that. But I'm not sure if we'll have enough money for that. Yeah, the only thing about I have to worry about the last stage is how are we gonna pop that balloon, that blimp? 
That's the question. So I think we'll save the bomb shooter for that stage. Let's not get too carried. Let's remember that we're supposed to be upgrading stuff here. Okay, so now we have the upgrade. We're fine for level 40. Again, just trying to plan ahead so I don't lose. I think for the next stage, we just want to make like a dart monkey. Maybe spikes at the end. Type seven threat detects in time oh, yeah. style. We gotta make sure... <laughs> I need to make sure I ate that balloon there, otherwise we would have leaked. If we popped the balloon. The big balloon. So yeah, maybe next round we could even just do um, Ninja Monkey and Alchemist combo. I don't know when we're going to be making uh, this Dart Monkey, honestly. If we're going Apache Dart Ship, I don't think we're going to need it here. Let's go. I don't believe so. And again, we just have to use our abilities on certain rounds. That will give us trouble. Like level 63, like level... 74, 76, 78, those are the hard ones with those uh, ceramic rushes. I just like that I basically just use one monkey because if you think about it, you can use a hero whenever you want, it doesn't get used up. But I basically just used one monkey. To be <clears throat> that last stage, uh, the, the first stage that I just played. <laughs> just one monkey, that's all you need. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. It's really optimal, if you think about it. Because now we have so much, so many monkeys we could use. Oh yeah, 49 was somewhat difficult, but not really. We almost have the Apache dart ship, so now we're basically in the driver's seat, and then we'll save for Apache Prime. I think we should have enough before level 80. I believe so. Because we're not really going to be spending it on anything else. Could get the Pyro Lord, but it's not necessary. Because we already have you that counters the big balloons. The dart ship basically destroys everything. And... Apache Prime is even stronger, so... <laughs> yeah, the only thing is, if you go the bottom path, you won't be able to see the camo uh, balloons. That's why usually this is really good to pair up with uh, a monkey village, where this is basically an aura for all your towers, and um, this upgrade allows you to see all the camo balloons and... This one allows you to um, pop all balloon types. Exactly what it says there. I'm using my abilities, not really necessary, but why not? Eat those blimps. I should probably go get some water <laughs> because um, we won't be losing anytime soon. And uh, I'm talking a lot, so I'm really thirsty. All right, so I'll be back. Sentai style. Sentai style. Overdrive. Sentai style. I got me some water, I'm good to go. Um, and we're getting close to level 63 here. So again, on level 63, we want to watch out for that last push. That last um, push of ceramics. I think is slightly bigger than the first two, if I remember right.
Hmm. I'm not sure if we'll get the if we'll get the dark ship. I'm not sure. If anything, oh, scary. Okay. That's really close. Let's use our ability here. And we're good. Yeah, that was close. I don't know if we get the dart ship. Or the Apache Prime. I don't know if we get that. So we might have to improvise here. And by improvise, I don't really know what to get. Um, we definitely don't get that. This is... 22k more. I don't think we get that. Well, something we can do is... If we really want to take out those blimps, we can upgrade the Pirate Lord. Um, we could also use... Wait, I thought I went... I thought I had Thrive. We can't use that? I guess we can't use that. Oh, what the hell? We can't use Thrive. We can't use this power. So what did I get it for? Oh, damn. It's a shame. Um, I'm slowing it down, I'm just trying to think. I don't think I'm gonna be making this. So basically, I need this before level 76 or 78. Those are the hard levels. Yeah, and I also don't want to lose, so... Um... thinking. So, if we go this, we're gonna be very good against the big balloons. We're, we're, we're almost there, actually. But now the hard waves are starting to come. Um, I don't know if we get 10,000 more. I'm not sure. Let's try to hang in there and try to get this. The Apache Prime. Because if we get that, it's just GG. Again, I'm getting really greedy here. I don't know if I should be. Is this round hard? No, right? I really wish I had Thrive. We might use um, this on level 76. We might do that. I feel like that one's gonna give me trouble. I think this just wipes out all the balloons that are on the screen. I believe that's what that does, if I remember right. We're so close, man. We're so close. I think we need this. I greeted that. That was so close, man. Alright, I mean, I'll spend the money and that's it. I could have gotten other towers. I know I could have. I, sp I had all that gold. Oh well. It was so close, man. We would have we would have gotten it. If we just cleared that wave, we would have been fine and we would have gotten it. Maybe I, I should have used my ability, maybe. The thing is, if, if you use this ability and you don't have a lot of firepower, it's very risky. Um, 
if you pop all the balloons at once and then all the balloons rush out. That's why I didn't use that to pop the blimps. It could be risky. Turbo damage laser bombs. But yeah, now the Apache Prime just beats everything. It's just unlucky that I was so close to getting it and... Yeah. Then I ended up losing. It's unfortunate. Um... Yeah, now we just win. If I were to do anything, I guess I would have had to make some other basic power and then upgrade this. If you wanted to play it safe. So I did technically lose there, but... I was just... Honestly, I was just greedy. I... I, I <laughs> The thing is, I'm trying to save all the towers, but I feel like I don't have to. I think I'm good for the last rounds. Yeah, whatever. That's unfortunate. So a few of the crew got used up there. Uh, no, can no longer make Buccaneer or Helicopter. So what, I just used two of my crew, right? I believe. So this one, maybe... For this one, I can see myself building, um... What if I do... Hero... Dart Monkey, Ninja Monkey, Alchemist, and Spikes. Just use those three. And then the Hero. I think that's good enough. And we'll use the Cash Drop again, obviously. Because we want to get the Hero out as soon as possible. And get him levels. And again, it's... All of this stuff I can use. It's not cheating. Um, this shows that I can't use it, but that's only because I didn't start yet. So, if I play something and I press play, um, we should be able to start. I'm just thinking, where do I wanna, when do I want to make that sub? And if we want to go for spikes, maybe we want to go for deadly spikes. Yeah, I think we I think we just win with going with deadly spikes and then go perma spike after I go for these three monkeys and a hero. I think we're good. And then the last stage, like I said, we'll use the wizard monkey. We'll use Prince of Darkness. Okay. Um, okay. I think we're good. So let's just start it off, I guess. Just make this. I don't really know where I want to build it. I guess here is good enough. Yeah. And you can use the cast drop. Laser bombs prime. Ninja monkey is super strong. This is one of the best monkeys ever, especially for early game. This is 100% one of the best monkeys you should ever go for. They can see camouflage balloons, and they can just—they have so much popping power. It's just so good. It also has another path where you can go for, um, you can kill the Moabs with the Sticky Bomb if you want to go the bottom path. It's got a lot of stuff, it even Balloon Sabotage. This is an ability that slows down the balloons. Last 15 seconds? Hmm. I didn't know it lasts that long. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
So good. Love this music. Now we go for a double shot. I guess I'll just save the rest of the monkeys for the last stage. And then the fourth stage. I don't think we need the hero for the fourth stage. Because it's not a good map for the hero. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could use him just to use abilities. He's also got a very large range. But yeah, he's not the best on that map. On the next way, which is Spillway. You'll, you'll see which one it is, obviously. One hour in the video. Um, now we're, we'll just save for Balloon Jitsu. I'd say we don't even need the Alchemist, but I want to use it for uh, the spikes. And I guess I could use it for the Balloon Jitsu also. Also, there is a very interesting... This is the beginner map. This is a beginner map. These little fruits actually stun the balloons. That's something I figured out. Or actually, a friend told me that. And I never noticed it. But basically, look, you click on this, and they get stunned. And they respawn after I don't know how many waves. And you have, like... There's three of these... Or, well, five of these, actually. Five of these little fruit things. That just stun the balloons. You can go for Caltrops, why not? He basically just lays down a few spikes. Don't really need them, but... We, why not? We could go for it. Five. So, with the Alchemist, we're going to want to go with um, Berserker Brew. could have made something. I'm still pissed off about that last. Because I technically lost, but it lets me continue. But the thing is, I was just greedy. Or, I don't know, I could have used my power or something. Or used my ability. I could have used this, my level 3 ability for sure. I would have survived that. So that was on me. That was my bad. Unfortunate. This hero is just so damn strong, let's be honest. Alright, now we have Stronger Stimulant. We'll go for faster throwing because we want it... We want him to power up the Alchemist. Or we want him to power up the Ninja and also the um, future Spike Factory that I want to build. Which is gonna be right now. Smart spikes, then long life spikes, and then um, deadly spikes. And then we'll see if we can get the perma spikes. We probably can. We don't need anything else here. We could just start saving for all on this. Next round is the blimp, as usual. I like that the spikes reach all the way over here as well. That's interesting. Type seven threat, turbo damage laser that balloon just got destroyed instantly. <laughs> it did not even reach the spikes. I think we're good. Like sometimes this this is a really nice game you could just kinda like vibe, and just like chill. Um Let's go. You can literally just, like, it's a good game to, like, just AFK on, also. Like, look, they just fight for you. It's just nice and chill. 
And then you just wait for these upgrades. So now we just wait for 32,000, basically. And we should be able to get it, obviously, because we're only at round 45. And this alone will just win us the game. Or this map, at least. If we wanted to be really greedy, we would have just went for... Um, Churchill, the Alchemist, and the Spikes. And we would have probably still won. But I chose to just go for the Ninja, because why not? We won't need it for next level. We won't need this Ninja for next level, and we won't need it for... We probably won't need it for the last stage. We have a lot of choices for the last stage still. So, I'm kind of planning a, on the next one. I feel like... I feel like we're gonna need Bernie stuff on uh, the next one. I would like to go for rapid fire for sure with the top path but I feel like we might need Bernie stuff unless for that stage we can make the submarine that hits lead balloons we could also do that type 7 threat detected So yeah, this is going to be an easy win. Um, honestly, we probably could have done this strategy in the last stage. Probably would have been more optimal. And then we would have used Buccaneer on this map. Because this one's a beginner map. This one's easier. This one, they have to go through the whole freaking island. All the way to the end. Yeah, so I, I could have planned that better, I think. I think definitely better to go for this strategy on the last one. So basically swap strategies from the last one I just played and this one. And it would have been better, I think. In my opinion. Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah, Buccaneer would have been fine here. I'm not worried, they're not gonna get past my spikes. And we even get this before level 63, look at that. That's how easy it is. Like, the, these three just hold by themselves, and then he just cleans up anything that passes through. So obviously after we go for Perma Spike, we'll go for faster production. I'm just trying to plan if... Yeah. It's definitely possible... ...that we don't go for Bernie stuff just to kill the leads. We could use Hero, we can use... Um, ...for the next round, I'm saying. And we could use maybe the Submarine. And we'll go the middle path. That could be useful. That could be good. Alright, so now we can basically just, like, fall asleep <laughs> for the next 20 rounds. Uh, but yeah. I gotta remember this stuff for the next... Um, for the next Odyssey. It's actually not hard. But, like, you just have to plan which monkeys to use in each one. Yeah, it's a shame I wasn't, um... Could've done that last one better. 
It almost worked, but um, yeah, I was greedy. They won't get past the spikes. It's even buffed by the Optimus. There's no way to go through. Oh, I guess we could go for Acid Pool. And then we got nothing else to upgrade. Maybe we can save for Grandmaster Ninja. I'd say we... We'd be close to getting it. I don't think we'll get it, though. 37,000? Hmm. Yeah, it was kind of triggering that I was so close to getting the Apache Prime in the last one. It was just so close. <laughs> and I would have actually been it if I just used my ability. If, if I used my level 3 ability, I would have beaten that level 75 that I lost on. That's a shame. All right. Like, if anything, we could have done the helicopter on the next stage, even. Like, there's there's so many there's so many ways you can do this. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So many ways. And of course, I'm not uh, perfect. I'm not uh, the best planner, <laughs> I should say. Even though this isn't bad, like, whatever I'm doing is somewhat working. I think the hero definitely helps a lot, though. If they allowed me to use any other hero, I think it would have been much harder. And of course I'm using the cash drops, so... Yeah, this one's very laid back. Um, obviously we're not going to be getting this. At least it doesn't seem like we will. But this wins alone. So yeah, those um, that round seventy six, those were all regrow balloons, regrow ceramic balloons. They're pr they could be dangerous if you don't have a counter. So yeah, when you use your ability, look at that. That's why I didn't use my ability on level 75. I was afraid too many balloons would come out of those blimps, and they would just leak through and I'd lose anyways. So that's why I didn't do that. Maybe we do get this. <laughs> Not that we need it, but maybe we do get it. <laughs> yeah, we do get it. Nice. <laughs> Grandmaster Ninja. Look at that. What a beast. He's, they're just gonna pop everything. They won't even get to the spikes. They were close there. I gotta admit, they're putting up a good fight. Yeah, they're somewhat getting to the spike. Light speed ultra mega strike! Boss attack stance. Turbo damage laser bomb. Sentine style. Alright. That's that's out of the way. Um, this next one's gonna be a pain in the ass. But uh hopefully we can 
do this. Oh man, I don't think we can build in the middle. You can't build a raft, right? Yeah, no. You can build a raft there, but you can't build on the oil. Or on, on the... whatever this is, the sewage. But I guess I can build a hero up here on the raft. Just so he can fire closer, right? The only problem is you gotta spend money. 2,000 gold to uh, get rid of that. But yeah, we can build a raft and have the hero fire inside. That wouldn't be too bad. It's interesting how you can only build a raft on the top. You can't build it anywhere else. <laughs> but they should be the same. I guess they're not the same, okay. Uh, so what's my approach here? Yeah, I mean, obviously the plane, right? And then I have to go for centered path. But it's definitely not something I wanna... Hmm. Let's try the plane. Because this was my strategy all along. And we're gonna need a cash drop again. And I think we're gonna have to wait on that hero. We're gonna have to upgrade the plane first. Uh, to never miss, and then centered path. So we're gonna want to go centered path, so he's gonna be in the middle. And then never miss targeting. And then we're gonna have to make the uh, village somewhat early. Because he needs to be able to hit camouflage balloons. Well, we can leak the first camouflage balloon. Round 33 we can't leak, though. I mean, we'll, we'll lose lives is the thing. They're gonna be coming out more there. Alright, so let's go for um, another cash drop, obviously, because it's allowed. And we're really close to getting, um, some, uh, never targeting. Never miss targeting, yeah. There we go. Now you're gonna see a whole bunch of darts flying everywhere. Maybe now we just already saved for the hero. It's gonna be a lot of gold though. Yeah, because it's gonna be 2,000 plus another 2,000 basically. I don't know if we get that before level 28. That's the question. I don't really know if we get that. Another question, do we beat level 40? I guess it could make a submarine here. We still haven't made that submarine. Hmm. Alright, so... Yeah, we'll hold off on this. We're not going to make this yet. I don't even know if we need this. I don't even know, man. I guess I could have made my hero, like, right here, but it's not going to be targeting... Like, let's say you build this here. It doesn't shoot past the, um, wall. Like, look, if I build this here... It's not- it can't see past the wall. It can only see up to here. If I build it there. <laughs> I like the effects there. That's pretty cool. Should be able to beat this with just never missing. Uh, never miss targeting. And then save for the hero. Hopefully we should be able to beat this. Uh, these few- these, uh, beginning rounds. Before we get that hero. Um, although, we probably won't have enough gold to get those camo balloons, right? Well, we'll see. Um, well, I mean, we almost have our hero. I think we should have enough gold for the camo balloons on level 33. We'll leak one balloon here, but it doesn't matter. 
we don't care. This is the one we're gonna leak, this green one. So that's two, three lives down the drain, but that regenerates. So we don't care. We just missed out on a tiny bit of gold, but it doesn't really matter. We'll put this on strong for now. Because um, he'll target the uh, lead balloons on level 28 first. This works. And now we need uh, 2,000 gold before round 33. I think we can get it. So decent planning, actually. If we do manage to get this, it's actually decent planning. We did we did a pretty good job here. Of course, the cash drop helped a lot, but if it's given to you, then you use it, right? No need to complain about it. Overdrive. Go for rapid shot. Again, I don't know if we need any if we need something for um level 40. If we need that extra sub. We might do. I'm not sure if we want that. Let's go for, um, maybe just upgrade this to jungle drums. And we need, um, Spectre. I think we should just save for it. I think we're good enough. If we really need, if we, okay, you know what? We could use this to pop the balloon, because we can. Because powers are allowed to be used. If we're really that afraid of the balloon, then let's do that. We get to show it off as well, what, what it does. And we didn't show this yet, so maybe we should use that sometime too. So now the balloon's gonna get instantly popped by this thing. Once it reaches that, yeah, it gets popped. Oh, did it even get used? I guess not. I thought this was a one-time use. I don't think it even got used. It, it, it got popped before the balloon got here. <laughs> I believe that's what happened. So yeah, the only thing that's killing the lead balloons is basically you, my hero. And yeah, we can make a sub here if we want. Eventually we'll make Monkey Intelligence Bureau. Oh, that's right, we were supposed to be making um, the Mortar Monkey this... Yeah, we'll make the Mortar Monkey, why not? We'll do it after, um, Spectre. Again, I don't think we'll need it, but... Why not? We should go for it. I think if we go for... the big one... it's gonna have a, lo a much bigger, um... blow-up range, if that makes any sense. If, you, if I just target basically the middle, it'll hit the whole circle of balloons, maybe. We'll see. I mean, either way, we can just let it target one spot, and I, I'm still- I, I bet we'll still be fine. Looked really wild there, but I wasn't, um, scared because I have faith in my towers. Type 7 threat detected. 
And now we can get Spectre, which is very, very strong. <laughs> and we won't reach 90,000, so we can go for our monkey buccaneer. Or, pff, why did I just say buccaneer? Mortar monkey. Jesus. This is why you don't record at night, Oreo. We still haven't used that. Like, it, it wasn't even used... It wasn't even needed. We'll get this first. The Monkey Intelligence Bureau. So I'm no I notice things are costing a little bit less because this is medium. I think it said it was on medium mode. Instead of hard mode. Alright, now we'll get the mortar. Now that that's done. And yeah, we should be having a big radius in the big in in the middle. I believe it should be popping the balloons, but if it doesn't then we could just maybe I'm sure it'll still pop a lot of balloons in just like the top spot, let's say, if it doesn't reach all the sides in the middle. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I went for the farm, the banana farm tower, it's useless. You just have to beat these rounds. Like, I mean, it's not useless, but like, Overdrive. you don't need it. Type seven threat detected. Oh, there's some epic music playing now. So is this... Oh, look, it got used up, okay. Oh yeah, the mortar is definitely putting him work there, you can see that. And he's in effect with the um, Intelligence Bureau, so he's gonna hit every single balloon type. Including the camouflage balloons. So 63 shouldn't be a problem. Plus the Spectre just destroys them anyways. This is a very strong tower. This is why I saved it for this round. But the, I mean, the helicopter would have been just as good, honestly. Yeah, so that costs a little bit less, 28,000. Pretty pissed off that <laughs> I still technically lost, even though I wouldn't have lost if I wasn't greedy. But how can Oreo not be greedy? It's just something that's not possible for me not to be greedy. How? 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 Please tell me. Just no. Just no. No. I'm, I'm always greedy. Oh, God. Alright, so my strategy worked. That was nice. What next? Let's go. At least, it's the early game that was the problem um, for this map. We should be good, I think. Once we get that big one. Oh, do we even get it though? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I guess the blimps are kind of annoying. I don't have too much of a counter for them. I have a counter for whatever comes out of them. 
like all the ceramic balloons that come out of them. The ceramic balloons are basically easy pickings. And obviously, if, um... If these- t all these towers weren't one-time use, I wouldn't ha I wouldn't have to use cash drops. It's still doable, I'm sure, without cash drops or anything, but I just want to have an easy time. I don't know, for a lot of these I feel like you do need the powers. Again, they let you use them, so... Style. I don't like the idea of thinking it's cheating, you know? Use powers. Because they're in the game, obviously. Hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna get sleepy now. It's, um... Oh, it's only 10 o'clock. 10, it's 10.20 at night. Not too late. But yeah, I do tend to get sleepy at night. So again, we have all the counters in the world for ceramic balloons. So we don't even have to worry. It's, again, it's just the blimps that seem a little bit harder. But we have... Captain Churchill that counters them, so it's no problem. I'm not even gonna use his abilities, I think we're good. I'll just use it on the last level. So yeah, that's gonna get destroyed, and we just won on this map. Nice. 8 out of 17, so we have 8 monkeys on the last stage still. Looking good. Looking real good. Um, although this map is a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> If I do say so myself. But on this map, you could kind of just build in one spot. You don't have to build in more than one spot. So for example, I can build all my towers here. And the balloons, yes, they do go around in different paths. But like... It, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, y you guys will see. They'll go... Let's say it starts here. It it'll still go around to this spot. Like, even if it starts here, it'll go, or, like, left, then right, then down, and then they'll still, you know, hit my towers here. And if I have Batman, it's gonna be really easy. Plus, this is a really good map for, um, the Wizard Monkey, the, um, Prince of Darkness. I think it's just the beginning stages that I have to worry here. And then I'm good. Then once I have that Prince of Darkness, we're good. I might even make um, a Superman early. And yeah, obviously we'll use the cash drop for Captain Churchill. Let's just make... Um, I don't know. Maybe you... Hmm, where do I want to build them though? Up here for sure. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay if I leak a few lives, yeah. I leaked two lives because I was too slow. It's fine. Uh, yeah, we can, I mean, we can definitely upgrade the... Let's go! 
the dart monkey. A little bit. Just for the earlier waves. This is the last stage. And I'd say we can probably already go for um, Super Monkey. Yeah, we need some other type of popping power here. Hmm. I'm ready. Yeah, you can just build on one side. And yeah, like I said, we're probably going to use this one cannon just to pop those, um... That blimp on level 40. But if we do get Batman in that time, we won't even need it. I think we should be able to get Batman. So yeah, the ones that are coming from here go all the way around and then back out this way. Or I think they go all the way around and then up the temple and then back down that way, I believe. That's how it works. They go up the temple and then that's when you know they're about to leak. When, when they go up the temple. Yeah, like that. Like this blue balloon just went up the temple. Right there. What next? Squad, oh, I'm leaking. Okay. Uh, I don't care. Turbo damage laser bombs. Kind of wasted my ability there, but it's fine. Build them here. I guess we'll build the wizard here. Wild. Yeah, and we'll see if we can get Batman before level 40. I'm sure we can. But again, I don't think it's necessary. I'll still try it though. So we'll go for a Dark Knight, Batman. So... Then after 40 we just save for Prince of Darkness, obviously. Now we'll set this to strong, because the, le the lead balloons are about to come out, and this is the only thing that can hit lead balloons. Wild. So yeah, we want this to prioritize the lead balloons, and not the stuff that comes out of them. Alright, so you guys can see camo. Um, the Dart Monkey and the Hero. And now, if I get this upgrade, he also can see Camo Balloons. So we should be perfectly fine for the Camo Balloons. Plus, the Prince of Darkness will be able to see the Camouflage Balloons as well. So that's not even... It's honestly not even a factor. So basically, the only thing we have to worry about are the Blimps. Afterwards. Which is still pretty easy. And, I mean, we also have this... We have a lot of Monkeys we could still use. We even have a submarine. <coughs> Overdrive. This is like the only temple map. What, what are even the drawings here? They're just random scribbles. 
Alright, if I don't get this, I have to go for the cannon. If I don't get this, um, by level 40. But I should be able to get it. It's only 2,000 more. We still have three more rounds to go. Should be able to get it. Yeah. Very easily. Look at that. Nice. Good, good. We could start going for the Prince of Darkness already. Oh, that's not the upgrade I wanted, but sure. We have to go bottom path for Prince of Darkness. That's fine, it's not a big deal. Type 7 threat detected. Turbo damage laser bomb. So Batman has an ability that knocks back the uh, balloons. That's what this is. That's why you saw some of those balloons go backwards. They basically got pushed back. We don't need this wall of fire. I would like to also upgrade this, but I want to get Prince of Darkness, because he's going to be really good for this wave, or for this um, map at least. Yeah, they just spawn in so many... look at that. The balloons just go everywhere and they just pop everything. It's just so good. I love it. Eventually we'll get laser blasts with uh, Batman. I think would be the best upgrade to go for right now. Uh, these two. After we get Prince of Darkness. Let's go. And then if we want, maybe I guess we could even upgrade this. It's not too bad. Attacks faster and does critical shots on the balloons. say everything's pretty smooth sailing for now. Maybe we could make a, um, a bomb after for levels. For those ceramic rushes, we'll do the um, recursive cluster bombs. Yeah. The Wizard Monkey, the Prince of Darkness, is going to be insane on this map. He's just too strong. Alright, we still got a good 6,000 left to go. Or, well, now it's 6... It's not 6,000 yet. It was... <laughs> now it's 6,000 left. I gotta admit that Zentai style gets kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't know if I said that already. It's basically this, um, this hero's catchphrase. Alright, really close to getting this. Here we go. The young prince. go for, um, let's prioritize the upgrades for Batman. I think that would be better. 
We could also get a cannon, actually, for round 63, but I don't think we'll be in trouble there. But, I mean... We'll take safety measures and we'll go for this. I don't think we need it, though. Let's just use our ability, just so we don't take forever to pop this. Because those BFBs are just really slow. We'll go uh, heavy bombs with this. So this is not going to be able to hit camouflage balloons. Unless, I don't know if Shimmer works with that. The Prince of Darkness. He's got a shimmer. Permanently, yeah. But I mean, I don't need the cannon to kill camo balloons. We have so many counters here. For the camo balloons. Alright, he's upgraded, and now we just upgrade him. And I guess we can get Wall of Fire if we want, but we don't really need it. Yeah, the Prince of Darkness is just insane on this map. It's not even fair. Basically, just go Prince of Darkness and you win um, on this map. You'll you'll clear. If you want to get all the trophies for this map, make this tower. Basically. <sighs> yeah, I'm starting to get sleepy. So, what do we do now? Got a bit of extra gold. Which we don't need, but I mean... I guess it wouldn't hurt to build extra. And I don't... There's no way we're getting 25,000 for the crossbow master. So I think we should just build random stuff. Because it's, it's available for me, so... I forget, does he increase range when you upgrade him? Yes, larger service area, okay. You get a few turrets. So you could probably just build them up here. And then he'll build... Um, because he has such a big service area... The turrets could even probably spawn on the top. Or maybe he just doesn't see up there. I guess it doesn't work, yeah. We'll just go for the turrets. We've done a good job. Except for that second stage. We were just being too greedy there. And I should have used my ability. Let's just go for... Honestly... Yeah, let's, let's go for... Twin guns and um, armor piercing darts. We probably could have gotten this. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't know why I keep thinking we definitely don't have enough, but we did we did have enough. Sometimes 
So yeah, this is doable, it's just really annoying. <laughs> That's all you gotta know, basically. Overdrive. All right, game's over. Um, might as well use my last tower. Why the hell not? Even though I don't need it. And for the next time I do extreme mode, I'll think I'll um, be more prepared. I think the perma spike strategy, uh, the spikes that I had in that third stage, I think that's a really strong strategy. Just go alchemist and perma spikes and you just win. Plus you have this hero. We easily would have had enough for that. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm smoking. GG. So now for science. We have to see if beating it on hard mode and not trying the other odysseys on easy or medium to see if we get all the prizes. Look at that, they have all the stats. Let's see if we get all of them. We don't. So that was bullshit. Yeah, I, this is definitely cool. So, I wasted that 400 monkey money, but I, it looks like I got it back. And plus I got monkey money off of just winning those maps. So I definitely made more. But I guess I did use a lot of cash drops. And look, we got a nice little insta monkey, a druid. And we got 50 trophies. So yeah. Oh, so if you do 50 trophies here, you can't get more trophies on medium or easy. That's kind of annoying. I mean, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Alright. Well, no need to try easy or medium, because I already did hard mode. So, see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the Odyssey. It was definitely a long one. Because obviously you're going through five maps. Yeah, this is the one I fucked up on off the coast. But, uh, yeah. We know why I lost that one. Alright. Peace. And I'll probably go to sleep or something. <laughs> See you guys.